Welcome back everyone, today we are going to recover a metal from its corresponding and highly interesting oxide using a reducing agent. For this you are going to need a metal oxide and a reducing agent which is less noble than the metal in the metal oxide. We are using elemental calcium as the reducing agent. Because dangerous fumes might be created and because the reagents are not necessarily safe to touch, we are going to put on a gas mask and a pair of gloves. As the reaction requires high heat and calcium would simply start to burn, a special reaction vessel is required. The reaction vessel must be able to withstand high temperatures and it must keep the air out. The easiest method I found was to use one of these steel laughing gas containers. Into the top I cut a strat and the screw is also made from steel. A little more powdered calcium than actually needed was added and afterwards it was well shaken. Everything was put into this melting furnace, which is able to reach a temperature of 1150 degrees Celsius. The reaction which is taking place will be similar to the one shown here. Iron oxide reacts with calcium, which is the less noble metal, to form elemental iron and calcium oxide. We however are not using iron oxide because iron as a product, well, it would be boring. Calcium melts at 842 degrees C, therefore the temperature must be kept way higher than that and once the temperature reached 900 degrees C, a stopwatch was started to let the reaction go for about an hour. Once the hour passed, the furnace was allowed to cool on slowly. You can see it's pretty damn hot and I didn't just take out the crucible but let it cool down like this. By doing this the components had some more time to react and afterwards the reaction vessel looked like this. It looks speed up but this was to be expected. It did melt and as long as I am able to open that screw, it's fine. All of the powder was added to a beaker. This was followed by some distilled water and acetic acid. The goal of the acetic acid is to dissolve all of the calcium oxide by turning it into water soluble calcium acetate. Dilute nitric acid would also do this trick but hydrochloric acid cannot be used as it would react with the product. A gravity filtration was performed, everything was washed multiple times with distilled water Afterwards the stuff was left to dry in a vacuum, the vacuum chamber was flushed back with air and we were finished. The product unfortunately still contains some of the oxide we started with and this is probably because we still used too little calcium. Using more calcium or using some flux like calcium chloride could increase the yield. Unfortunately there's no easy way for me to get rid of the starting oxide other than repeating the experiment. Fortunately, this is only needed for an element collection and the spots of product which we desired are visible under a microscope. And there you go, the black stuff is what we desired, which is metal and the grey stuff is leftover oxide. The black spots are good enough for an element collection, but the entire ampule, well, you can't use it for any experiments because it's more oxide impurity than actual product. If you liked today's video make sure to drop me a like and if you don't want to miss out on further chemistry content like that make sure to subscribe. As always I also have to thank my Patreons because you guys make it possible to film even more expensive projects. If you want to become a Patreon too make sure to check the link in the description. Anyways I wish all of you a nice day, until next time.